requirement for healing here is to begin the journey into the black hole as one must first travel within in order to remove the unsatisfactory mode of relating to objects, people and things. Things are not what they seem. You have been brought up believing that you require certain things or that certain things can only be gained through particular means. You are a consumer or in other words everything is something to be used. Everything is something to be used because everything has a certain effect. To gain certain effects, you require certain things, and so on. How do I get what I want? Who will give it to me? Where are the keys to my success lie? What do I have to do to extract them? When will I deserve it? This is not a healthy way to live. You are tired. There are countless possibilities out there. Which ones do you choose? You are anxious, always putting yourself in between satisfaction and possibility. Is this right for me? You cannot appreciate under the assumption that there are limited resources. Life is a competition and wherever you are right now might be the best or the worst thing for you in regards to getting what you want. So what do you do? So what do you do? How do you make decisions? How do you get what you want? I suppose you just have to not worry too much. Assume that you are really doing the best that you can or believe that everything will work out just fine. But this really doesn't solve the problem, does it? You still believe that there is a point to things, that there is something to get and a particular way to get it that if you don't get it, then you will be somewhat worse off. You still believe that everything is there to be used, something to propel you or prevent your acquisition of particular things, which in turn will either propel you or prevent you from reaching other things. You still act that there is a right and a wrong way to live your life, and that at the end of it, whenever you finally decide to evaluate whether it was worth it, your decision will be based upon what you consumed and what you didn't. This is an illness, and it can be healed. This is an illness, and it can be healed. It requires, first of all, a closer examination of things in relation to contemporary art. In the world of contemporary art, anything goes. You are material. Your desires are material. Your actions are material. Everything you do and are is material. You are constantly producing, interacting, developing relationships which spring from coalesce into other forms, morphing into structures and breaking them down. Everything in the entire universe is involved in this production of endless contemporary art. Nothing isn't art. Art is a way of looking at things, a consideration of their constructed nature in relation to their effects. And as we know well, everything is constructed. Everything you see is a mismatch, amalgamation of you and stuff or maybe just you, or maybe just stuff. Everything is the result of something fragmented and different, sitting together and producing effects. Everything is effect, everything is art. Art has no boundaries, nothing isn't safe. Some things may be less interesting than others and may be forgotten, but if the time came, if the spotlight was placed upon them, if they were looked at under a microscope, we would have to conclude that yes, they are in fact one of contemporary art's many, many constructions. Even considering something as art is just a part of this multi-dimensional seemingly infinite game. 
So now you can start taking things with a pinch of salt. Stop taking yourself so seriously for a start. Add in the hindsight, part and parcel style reflection that everything you do is purely for the production of contemporary art and nothing else. You could believe that it was for something else, but isn't this just a narrative? Spinning off, causing effects, producing a particular experience of the world, a particular form of contemporary art? Because this is what art is now. Art is life. Anything goes, anything can happen. However, at the end of the day, it's this is all completely pointless beyond the production of contemporary art. There is no other point. Whether the, whatever, whatever other points you believe exist is again just material for the production of contemporary art. Nothing escapes. This is a black hole we are stuck in. Treating things as potentially useful, believing that you need things, behaving like a consumer, a connoisseur of life's treats, is just material then a particular form of contemporary art. Even when you are in the mode of evaluating whether it is worth it in regards to what you consumed or not, is itself a way of looking, something which has a particular effect on things that is different to the effect that would be produced if you looked at it differently. You are simply producing a particular style of contemporary art. This means then that you don't have to produce this kind of art if you don't want to. If you would rather be experiencing a different type of contemporary art, then just change what you need to. Your beliefs, your way of approaching things, the way you see the world, anything. Recognize that everything is just pouring into the black hole that is contemporary art, and that you can fill the void with whatever you choose. You are material. This is the end of the healing process for part one. If you feel like you have been healed properly, please return to the evaluation point and reassess which category is most applicable to you. Upon completing evaluation, please head to the appropriate healing pod and begin the next stage of transformation. If there is a cue, Please take a seat in one of our waiting chairs and help yourself to refreshments. Our caretaker will be around.